Welcome to an intriguing exploration of demographics. Today, we dive into the numbers of single women in Eastern Europe. Demographics tell us a story, a narrative woven into the fabric of societies, and understanding them can offer a unique insight into a country's culture. Join us as we unravel the numbers behind the single women in these Eastern European countries. First up we have Ukraine, a country renowned for its stunning landscapes and even more stunning single women. This vibrant nation, steeped in history and culture, presents a fascinating demographic landscape where women significantly outnumber men. Recent statistics indicate that approximately 60% of women in Ukraine are single, a number that is quite surprising when you consider the global average. This discrepancy is influenced by a multitude of factors, both societal and cultural, that shape the Ukrainian dating scene. One such factor is the country's population dynamics. There are significantly more women than men in Ukraine, a trend that has been consistent for years. This gender imbalance inevitably contributes to the high number of single women. Another contributing factor is the tendency of Ukrainian men to emigrate for work, leaving behind a surplus of single women. This trend is particularly prevalent among men of marriageable age, further exacerbating the imbalance. Culturally, Ukrainian women are known for their strong character, intelligence, and beauty. They're well-educated, often multilingual, and have a deep appreciation for their cultural heritage. This makes them not just beautiful but also interesting and engaging companions. However, it's important to note that the high number of single women doesn't necessarily mean that Ukrainian women are eager to marry at the first opportunity. On the contrary, they value independence and self-development, and many choose to focus on their careers before considering marriage. In Ukrainian society, there's also less societal pressure to marry at a young age compared to other cultures. This freedom allows Ukrainian women to take their time, explore their options, and ultimately choose a partner who truly complements them. While these factors contribute to the high number of single women, they also highlight the strength and resilience of Ukrainian women. They're not merely statistics, but individuals with their own stories, dreams, and aspirations. Ukraine, with its high number of single women, indeed poses an intriguing demographic puzzle. Yet beyond the numbers, it's a land of beautiful, intelligent, and independent women who enrich the cultural fabric of this fascinating country. Moving on to the heart of Eastern Europe, Russia, a country as vast as its number of single women. It's a land of extremes, from its icy Siberian tundra to its sun-soaked Black Sea coast. But here, we're delving into another extreme, the demographics. In Russia, the single women population is notably high. According to recent statistics, approximately one in three women in Russia are single. This is not just a number, it's a reflection of a complex societal structure, shaped by both historical events and current norms. Historically, Russia's demographic landscape was drastically altered by the events of the 20th century. Two world wars, followed by the tragic losses of the Stalin era and the political unrest of the late 1900s, led to a significant gender imbalance. Today, there are about 10 million more women than men in Russia, a gap that naturally contributes to the high number of single women. But the story doesn't end there. Today's societal norms and expectations also play a significant role. Russian society, like many others, is still largely patriarchal, and traditional roles for women are deeply ingrained. Many women, however, are challenging these norms, choosing to prioritize education, careers, and personal growth over early marriage. This trend is particularly noticeable in the urban centers of Russia. In cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg, many women are choosing to remain single longer, pursuing their ambitions and enjoying the independence that comes with it. Yet, it's important to note that the high number of single women does not equate to loneliness or unhappiness. On the contrary, many Russian women are embracing their single status, forging their own paths and redefining what it means to be a single woman in Russia today. This blend of historical influences, societal norms and individual choices creates a unique demographic scenario. It's a fascinating aspect of Russian culture, one that reflects the strength and resilience of Russian women. Russia, with its high single women statistics, showcases a unique demographic scenario. Let's not forget the hidden gems of Eastern Europe. Belarus, Moldova, and Latvia, each holds its unique demographic tale. Starting with Belarus, a nation with a population of just under 10 million, where the women outnumber the men by nearly 10%. This discrepancy is not just a result of the unfortunate events of the past, such as World War II, but also a reflection of the country's current economic landscape. With men seeking job opportunities abroad, 
many women are left behind, contributing to the increase in the number of single women. Despite these challenges, Belarusian women are renowned for their resilience, intelligence, and commitment to their families and careers. Moving a little south, we find Moldova. This small, landlocked country has a unique demographic story to tell. Moldova has one of the highest emigration rates in Europe, with a significant portion of the population living abroad. This trend is especially prominent among men, leaving a substantial number of women single in their home country. However, Moldovan women are known for their adaptability and strength, often stepping into roles traditionally held by men, making significant contributions to their communities and the country's economy. Finally, we journey north to Latvia, a country with the highest percentage of women in the world, a staggering 54%. This disproportion is due to a variety of factors, including higher life expectancy for women and a large number of men working abroad. Latvian women, like their counterparts in Belarus and Moldova, are resilient, educated, and hardworking. They play a significant role in the country's social and economic life, despite the challenges they face. Belarus, Moldova, and Latvia share a common thread in their demographic stories. The high number of single women in these countries is not merely a statistic but a testament to the strength and resilience of these women. They continue to contribute significantly to their societies and economies, despite the odds stacked against them. The societal, cultural, and economic landscapes of these countries play a crucial role in shaping these demographics. Factors such as emigration, war, and economic instability have influenced the number of single women, but they also highlight the strength and resilience of the women who remain. They are the pillars of their communities, contributing to their country's growth and development in significant ways. While these countries may not be the first that come to mind when thinking of Eastern Europe, they are certainly worth exploring. Their rich histories, diverse cultures, and vibrant societies offer a unique perspective, and their demographic tales provide fascinating insights into the lives of the women who call these countries home. Belarus, Moldova, and Latvia, though smaller in size, present fascinating figures when it comes to their single women demographics. Lithuania, a country with a reported 115 women for every 100 men, this Eastern European nation is known for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and a unique gender imbalance. The number of single women in Lithuania is significantly higher than that of single men, but why is this so? Let's dive into the social, economic, and cultural factors that contribute to this phenomenon. The first factor is economic migration. In search of better career prospects and higher wages, many Lithuanian men migrate to Western European countries, leaving behind a surplus of women. This trend is supported by data from the Lithuanian Department of Statistics, which reveals that men constitute the majority of emigrants. The second factor contributing to the high number of single women in Lithuania is the country's cultural norms. Lithuanian society is traditionally patriarchal, with an emphasis on the role of men as the primary breadwinners. This societal pressure often leads men to seek opportunities elsewhere, further augmenting the gender imbalance. Another point of consideration is Lithuania's history. The violent events of the 20th century, including two world wars and the Soviet occupation, led to a significant loss of male population. The effects of these historical events continue to be felt today, reflected in the country's skewed gender ratio. Lastly, we cannot overlook the role of education in this scenario. According to Eurostat, a higher percentage of Lithuanian women pursue tertiary education compared to men. This educational attainment sometimes creates a gap in expectations, making it challenging for women to find suitable partners within the country. In conclusion, Lithuania's high number of single women is a complex issue, with roots deeply embedded in the country's societal norms, economic conditions, historical events, and educational trends. It's not merely a case of demographics, but a reflection of broader social realities that the country continues to grapple with. Thus, Lithuania's gender imbalance has deep roots in its society and history. Next, we venture into Estonia, where there are 113 women for every 100 men. In Estonia, the gender gap is a curious phenomenon that has been shaped by a variety of factors. One of the primary reasons behind this imbalance is migration. The allure of better job prospects in other European countries has led to a significant outflow of young men, resulting in a skewed gender ratio back home. Life expectancy also plays a crucial role. In Estonia, women live on average up to 10 years longer than men. 
This longevity disparity is one of the highest in Europe and contributes to the excess of women, particularly in the senior age bracket. Education presents another facet of this gender divide. Women in Estonia are more likely to pursue higher education than men, with over 60% of university degrees being awarded to women. This educational trend, coupled with the out-migration of men, has led to a surplus of educated women who often struggle to find partners of similar educational backgrounds. But it's not just about the numbers. The gender imbalance has broader implications for society. It affects family structures, marriage patterns, labor markets, and even political participation. For instance, the surplus of women has led to a rise in single-parent households, predominantly headed by women. Estonia's gender gap also impacts the dating scene. With fewer men to go around, it's not uncommon for women to remain single or marry later in life. This situation has led to a rise in international marriages, with many Estonian women choosing partners from abroad. In conclusion, Estonia's gender gap is a multifaceted issue rooted in socio-demographic trends such as migration, life expectancy, and education. It's a puzzle that continues to shape the fabric of Estonian society, influencing everything from family structures to the dating scene. Estonia's gender gap, much like Lithuania's, is a complex issue with no easy solutions. Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania also report a high number of single women. As we delve further into Eastern Europe, these three countries reveal a similar pattern. The high number of single women in Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania is a complex issue, intertwined with urbanization, economic factors, and societal norms. Starting with Poland, the trend of singlehood among women can be traced back to the rapid urbanization. The country has seen a significant shift in population from rural to urban areas over the last few decades. This movement has allowed women to pursue education and careers, leading to a delayed marriage age, and in some cases, a preference for singlehood. In contrast, Bulgaria's high number of single women is largely linked to economic factors. The country has been grappling with economic instability, leading to a high unemployment rate. This has prompted many Bulgarian men to seek work abroad, leaving a surplus of single women behind. Additionally, Bulgarian women who are increasingly well-educated often prefer singlehood over marrying men who can't provide financial stability. Moving to Romania, the high number of single women can be attributed to a combination of urbanization and economic factors. Like Poland, Romania has seen an urban shift, leading to more women pursuing higher education and careers. At the same time, economic hardship has led many Romanian men to seek work overseas, mirroring the situation in Bulgaria. Societal norms also play a crucial role in these countries. The traditional expectations of women in Eastern Europe often revolve around marriage and family life. However, as women gain more access to education and career opportunities, these norms are being challenged. This clash between tradition and modernity contributes to the high number of single women. Data supports these points. According to a report by the United Nations, the average age of first marriage for women in Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania has steadily increased over the past few decades. In the same period, the percentage of women with tertiary education has also risen significantly, indicating a correlation between education and singlehood. In addition, a study by the World Bank reveals that the emigration rate of men from these countries is higher than that of women, contributing to the gender imbalance. The economic situation in these countries also favors women staying single, as they are less likely to find men who can provide financial stability. However, it's important to note that being single doesn't necessarily mean being lonely. Many women in these countries are choosing to remain single out of personal preference, embracing the freedom and independence it offers. The gender imbalance in Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania, like in Lithuania and Estonia, is a multifaceted issue deeply rooted in societal structures. The high number of single women is not merely a demographic anomaly but a reflection of the profound social and economic changes sweeping across Eastern Europe. The gender imbalance in these Eastern European countries doesn't just affect the dating scene, it has far-reaching societal implications. When we examine the impact of having an excess number of single women in a country, it becomes clear that the ramifications stretch beyond personal matters and seep into the economic, social, and psychological fabric of these nations. Economically, a surplus of single women may lead to a decrease in birth rates, which can cause a decline in workforce size over time. This can impede economic growth and development, potentially leading to a stagnation or even decline in GDP. Socially, the imbalance can contribute to a sense of instability. Traditional family structures are challenged and societal norms are disrupted, 
leading to feelings of uncertainty and unease. This disruption can impact community cohesion and potentially lead to increased social tension. Psychologically, an excess of single women can lead to a range of mental health issues. Feelings of loneliness, isolation, and the pressure to find a partner can increase stress levels, potentially leading to conditions such as depression and anxiety. But this is not an unsolvable problem. Experts have proposed several potential solutions to address this gender imbalance. One possibly is encouraging immigration, attracting individuals from countries with a surplus of single men. This could help to rebalance the gender ratio while also stimulating economic growth through an increased workforce. Another solution could be to implement policies that empower women, promoting their participation in the workforce and society. This could help to change societal norms and perceptions, reducing the pressure on women to marry and have children. Moreover, initiatives that promote mental health, such as counseling and support groups, could help to alleviate some of the psychological strain that this imbalance can cause. While the gender imbalance in these Eastern European countries is a complex issue, understanding it is the first step towards finding a solution.